So I've been getting a lot of questions about how I'm connecting an intervalometer with my Canon M50 Mark II when in fact there is no intervalometer port for this camera. And the answer is the traditional way, I'm not. I'm not using a wired intervalometer for this camera. What I am using is an intervalometer from the app store that talks to the camera over Bluetooth. Sorry iPhone users, as far as I can tell, there is not an app that does the same thing for you guys. I don't have an iPhone. I did look in the store, but I didn't see anything that looked like it would work. But if anybody out there with an iPhone found an app that they're able to control the M50 with, drop a comment, let everybody know. Let's help these guys out too. The one thing that it will not do is some of the mounts like the Skywatcher Star Adventure, it has a snap port on there that you would connect to the intervalometer port of the camera. And you can use Skywatcher software to control the shutter of the camera. That's not going to help in this instance. You still are not going to be able to do that. So this is just a quick video to show you how to get everything installed and configure it on the camera and on the phone and get shooting at night with your brand new Bluetooth intervalometer. My name is Rich. You're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so what I've got set up here for you guys is on the left-hand side, this is the view through the Canon M50. And over on the right, this is the view through the Android phone. So we're gonna start on the phone, go to the Google Play Store, search for intervalometer for Canon by Boomin Media, click install. Once it's installed and you get this screen, click your open button, click allow to give it permissions. And then right here, start by connecting to your camera. Just click the little camera icon up top. Now I'm gonna come over to the phone and open up the menu by hitting the menu button on the back, bottom right corner of the camera. And using the right arrow button, we're going to scroll over till we get to our wireless settings. And we're going to select Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. I'm going to hit the right arrow to move to the next menu. And going to select Connect to Smartphone. In here, we want to select Add a Device to Connect to. And we're going to select do not display here. If you selected Android or iOS here, it would bring up a QR code that you can scan to get the Canon app for your phone. The Canon app though does not have an intervalometer in it. It's just an application that you can use to uh, pull pictures down from the camera directly to your phone over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So we don't need that. We're just going to select do not display. And before we hit pair via Bluetooth, we're going to come back over to the phone and say start new scan and then back over to the camera and say pair via Bluetooth. Click OK. Pairing in progress. There's our camera. We're gonna click it. We're gonna click the pair button. Over on the camera it says pairings in progress. We're gonna click OK to connect it to the smartphone. It's connecting. We're gonna click done over on the phone. And we're finished with connecting the app over Bluetooth to the Canon M50. Uh, on the app on the phone, these are just directions on how to use it, which we're going over today, so you can read them if you like, but we're not going to right now. I'm gonna click OK. You can see right here we're connected to the camera, and our button says disconnect, which is an indication that we are connected. Back over to the camera now, and I'm going to click OK, that it's paired, and hit my menu button to come back out into our, our live view. So at this point, now we're ready to use the intervalometer. Some things you need to know about your camera first. The first thing you need is to put your camera into manual mode. So the dial up on top, spin it over, and make sure it's in manual mode. That's what this M is up here on the top. The second thing is the, uh, the little dial on the back of the camera where it says AF and MF. That's autofocus and manual focus. You wanna tap that once. So we're in manual focus. That's what MF is right here. And then right here is your exposure. This should say bulb. So, so you need to change this if it does not say bulb right now. I am going to disc the, connect the camera real quick so I can make that change. And I'll bring it back up and show you what it should look like when you're done. Okay, so now we're in bulb mode, manual focus, and manual mode. Okay, so over on the app on the phone, the top part here is our exposure time in minutes and seconds. Uh, defaults 10 seconds for the purpose of this demo. I'm just going to leave it at 10. Um, bulb mode, we want to turn that on. It's set to a five second delay. This is just directions that pops up when you turn it on, explaining to you what we're going to go over now. But the five second delay is between each exposure. So it'll take a 10 second picture, it'll wait five seconds before it takes the second image. 
the reason you need a delay is the camera needs time to process that image and write it to your SD card. You can play with lowering this if you want, um, but just thoroughly test it. Not enough time and it can start skipping images and causing issues for you. So five is a good number, at least with the M50 Mark II that I'm running right now, but you can play with it, like I said. The next one is uh, the number of pictures that you want to take. So we'll tick that, that on. 240, I'm just going to set this to say three right now just for our demo so we've got 10 second exposures with a five second delay between each of them and we're only going to take three pictures this sound alarm if camera disconnects i have not had much luck with it but the way it reads is if you turn this on and you lose your bluetooth connection to your camera the app will make an audible alarm for you letting you know that you lost that connection so once you set those three things all you need to do is hit the big red button and if we watch over in the camera here, it'll start taking our 10 second exposures and waiting five seconds in between. So while this is going, um, you know, some things to keep in mind, this is Bluetooth. So you're going to have to keep your phone relatively close to your camera. I use a spare phone that I can keep close to the camera. That way my main phone isn't outside and I can't use it for normal day to day activities. But you can see it's going through. It's showing us how many shots it's gone through. Right now it's on its last one. It just finished it up and that's it. It's all done. So pretty simple. It's kind of funny to me that Canon never did introduce an intervalometer port on the M50 cameras. I don't, I'm not sure if any of their other models are like that, but this is a way to overcome that, not having that port. You can just do it over Bluetooth. Technology is great, right? So hope that helps a lot of you. I, I have been getting quite a few messages asking how I control it with the intervalometer. So this is what I do. It's our only option, unfortunately. If the, you found the video helpful, give it a like, uh, share, subscribe, helps the channel grow. Appreciate everybody's time. And we'll see you in the next video. Clear skies.